I'm a child who knows God. <laughs> when you are pastor, yeah. Baba and Mama. Baba and your Mama are reverend. Jesus. Mm. Even when they go low, you know. Keep your head up high, high. Even when they go, it's a good time when I'm around. Cause I ain't never gonna try and drown to fit in with you. And every single time that I'm thinking of you, I still get the boo. Cause you're a bad boy, and my mama always. Yo, yo, ni aja wase, kuna mtu pale nyua amesewa nyache kwa mzanga na kingereza. <laughs> hey, so hi everybody, this is again Melo Prime chat box and uh, thank you for stopping by and tonight in the house, in the building, uh, huh. I don't know how to introduce this lady but for me, this, these are one of those people that when I look at, I'm like, I like their spirit, how they do their things. She's a girl who has actually a met her hit song suko inje. She's a singer, she's a songwriter, she's an actress, she's beautiful and ha and guys she she is in the house. Una check up again na stomach ku ku get the right words to introduce her. So guys, welcome Truth254. Thank you, thank you. In the you. building. <laughs> How have you been Truth? I've been good. Uh -huh. Yeah, you look so nice. Your dress was a mona yungu. I will comment up for chili. You look so beautiful. Thank you. So, truth, no, because guys, we apologize for the video we had uploaded last time. Hi, Kukwana, na sound. So, to, we, we had to bring her back due to the public demand. Lazima tunge murudisha so that you guys get to know who Truth254 is more, right? Yeah. So kuna mtu hapa ali 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 sema ni kuulize. Akasema uliza mama alianza kuimba siku gani? Okay, well I started singing um I know this sounds crazy but I started singing in the shower. I started singing in my dad's church uh -huh. which is a pastor. Ha, wait. Um, God, God. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you are a child of a pastor. Yes. I'm a child who knows God. <laughs> when you're a pastor? Yeah. Baba na mama. Baba na pia mama ni reverend. Jesus. Mm. Okay? This is so interesting, <laughs> so I guys. I singing in the church, <laughs> and then um, a later on I just decided that I want to uh, hit the studios. So that's how. That's how you? I started music. Wow. Wow, that's so nice. So, but then what is with this thing, what to pastor? Most of the actually artists on Apata Alianza Kubia kwa church. Kachana na kuimba kwa shower at least two years. So, utumefata mwenye alianzia kwa shower. So, I think it's why do you rebel? No, it's not about rebelling. It's like telling a, a, a parent mm -hmm. who's a doctor and they expect their child to be a doctor. You know, it doesn't go okay, like that. Okay. It's just that it's a religious factor. So people think that you're supposed to follow that path. Mm -hmm. And it's not a bad path, mm -hmm. but you should do it at your own time, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice yeah. one. So, where will you move? Uchu, ucha guwe secular. Yes, me I'm a contemporary R&B soul artist and tuliambiwa it's either your gospel or your secular. So whether I'm you, doing contemporary, I've agreed I'm a secular So you're artist. not hot or you're not yeah, warm. Yeah, you can't you be hot be... or cold. You have to do what you want to do. Okay, mm. very, very true. When I say you can't be warm, it's either you go hot mm. or you go cold. So, wazazi wa leti shida na kanisa, unajua wana semango wa toto wa pasta, you are there? The first of the um, church. I think like at first they were a bit shocked, mm -hmm. but then you know I'm doing music full time. Mm -hmm. It's my passion, it's my happiness. And mm -hmm. then also I do good music, mm -hmm. you know. How funny you Yeah, you know, even if you're doing secular music, always have a goal, have, mm -hmm. have a main agenda. What type of message you want to give to the audience. Mm -hmm. You can be doing gospel music, but you're fake. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just do secular and be real. Oh, nice one, nice one. Yeah. Hey, guys, you must care here. Yeah, yeah, pana fufanya twerking. So no, you don't do the twerk or what? So kuna mungi na apa aliuliza kasema what inspired kuna song amesema inaitwa wako. Mhm. Ulikuwa una ulificha Jilosh. Anaitwa Ji. Oh, mimi na wewe. Mimi na wewe. Yes, I think maybe the person mimi na wewe ndio ulificha Jilosh. So how did you guys decided to come up with that song what was the, the inspiration behind Let it? Let me tell you guys, it was a freestyle actually Ziloshi is a hometown friend he mm -hmm. a place, me walk around mm -hmm. and he happened to have a really good voice so I was like, I'm going to Black Market Studios because it's mm -hmm. a good studio I work with them mm -hmm. and, it was, and we just put on a beat and that's how we vibed You work with Black Market? Nini Black Market? Yes. 
It's a big record. Nini record level. It's a very big. Wame kusai na wa. How do you work with them? <laughs> no, it's just I know Vietnam. But um, I really like working with all of the producers and the artists because wame nipa so many chances. Kumi wase wengi. Come to to talk about Vietnam. <laughs> The the, the 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 beat monster wa BMR mavo on the beat kuna watu hapo wanasema kuna venye wewe na yeye umekuwa 1 kwa sababu muonekana pamoja there are some photos online acha nikwambie usani iko na mambo mob na lazima tungare lazima tu buy vitu you know nice clothes and sexy outfits and sometimes you are you're in very um tricky situations but that doesn't mean that you make tricky decisions yeah Mavo's a really good friend of mine. I used to know him even I think he was in Umoja or Don Home before he um relocated. Mhm. So yeah, we we've, we've done some projects together but we don't have a relationship. Mm-hmm. And for those guys who are saying I'm dating Mavo, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a, <laughs> but that smile, guys, do you think she's saying the truth? I'm saying the truth. She's saying the truth. Yeah. But are you in a relationship? Yes. You're dating someone in the industry? Don't worry if she's in the industry. I'm just dating someone. <laughs> Kuna mtu anasema hapo at fear fear women. Mbona mbona unataka kusema wewe kwa bando tujue eh? Ndajue penye wako actually. No 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 because I just don't like um putting my the relationship in social media. To, to the okay to the People public. But yeah. he is there. Na no nanga sisters za online tuna na me relax. So there's someone who has asked how has been your music journey? wa music music Kenya ni kujitolea mm-hmm. kwa msani Kenya ni kujitolea juu um first of all our own uh, audience they don't support us the way they should you mm-hmm. know like in Nigeria these guys they learn how to love their own mm-hmm. people and also the music how they stream and mm-hmm. stuff in Kenya lazima um, tafute pesa marketing tafute design tafute pesa video it's so many things that mm-hmm. you have to do but at the end of the day kama ni passion yako utapenda mm-hmm. you'll never get tired you'll just wake up and be like ah it's another day mm-hmm. striving for what i want to do mm-hmm. so it's not easy I, sometimes i make people like guy when i'm sani mbona una gari i'm like da yo gari so there's people that they think that just because you're an artist you grow and you just you earn 1 million per day it doesn't mm-hmm. work like that you know mm-hmm. music is like fine wine it mm-hmm. takes time and it takes a lot of consistency mm-hmm. and it's not easy mm-hmm. yeah so <laughs> wasani wani ni watu huko nje Kenya. Unasikia wasani hapa venye wanasema you need to to support our artists. Support your our local content. Lakini come to that point ya ku support the local artists. Jamaa the local content. Ni nini leo mnaimba? Me I make good music. I know about other people. Kuna wangu. When you when you sing, you know sometimes you know like a uh, ukiona okay, music kama the, the Nigerians they give vibes yeah. from the production to the video and everything yeah. is vibe again ukija kwa kwetu sitaki kutaya but ni lamba lolo lamba and chapa ilale chapa ilale so you're like uh, this is not music that is even gonna take long ni ile inakuja na vibe too yeah. ah, 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 na mm. ina disappear so wa, wa, my question is why can't you guys like now you are in that industry Why what is hindering you from being too creative to a point that now you can be able your music can be able to compete na even the mm-hmm. international act. Well I think like um not every artist is singing lamba la kuna wasani wanafanya good music kwa nje na pia hawajulikani lakini but i really feel like Kenya we don't have a certain genre that we can classify ourselves as a Kenya we do this you know right, that's why right. getting it in a flop in a kuja vizuri then in a flop eh but um i think we just need to figure out what type of music genre can we identify ourselves as Kenyans and then we we'll go from there you go from it mm-hmm. nice one so kuna mtu hapa ameuliza um kuna song ulotoa na Jeshi Jinga mm-hmm. the baddest right so what what inspired or what led to the creation of that song okay with the bandist i actually did it down at mellow prime empire uh-huh. <laughs> and um at that time i used to do voiceovers for vdj jones mm-hmm. so we have a really good um, music friendship mm-hmm. and then i met jeshi jinga and i really like gengeton music mm-hmm. i don't know why mm-hmm. i can't sing gengeton but like, i'm a music fan gangster mm-hmm. you know <laughs> so 
so I was like, let me just call them up if they're free. Mm-hmm. And then um, we wanted to do something different. You know, mm-hmm. there was even in the video, I had black lipstick and mm-hmm. booty shorts. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. But it was something nice. Mm-hmm. Something that people can see. They're like, no, this is not true. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, truth and offender gowns. And offender gowns. Nice one. So that's how you guys ended up creating Yeah, the it's just vibes. You know, music is a vibe. Has the song mm-hmm. given you any return? So... I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I haven't checked. I haven't checked yet. You but I think we're around like sixteen thousand views. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. In a Has it in views. terms of money? Sasa when don't have a kukuliza. What? Vidya Jones was here, so I don't know how to do it. Vidya Jones is the one owning the rights to that song. Anyway, so there's another one who has asked. Uh, Kuna wia think alikuwa na joy ni mtoto wa pasta. So aliuliza ah. Do you also get support from the, your parents to do this kind of music? Oh, okay. Well, um, I've actually I've never uh, got backlash from my parents mm-hmm. because I'm doing music by myself. Mm-hmm. I haven't like gone home and told them, Dad, can you invest this type of money for me to do this? Mm-hmm. Um, but at first they wanted me to do gospel. Mm-hmm. Of course, we had some issues here and there. Mm-hmm. But by day, you know, mtoto ni mtoto na lazima wakupende na bora tu supporte. You just watch over you and hope mm-hmm. for the best. So Jaiskia Chachel Daksema mtoto wa Bishop ameharibika. Unaona venye ana nini? They don't they protect you from all that. Yes. All right, that's us. Awesome. That's nice. Kuna mwingine ameuliza what is your worst fear in life? My fear in life is not even dying. My fear is dying without fulfilling my purpose in life mm-hmm. because everyone has a journey and a purpose and mm-hmm. you shouldn't you know go to heaven if you have been dying <laughs> that's what i believe <laughs> that's true mm. so uh you've been performing right yes here in, in shows mm. what is the biggest show you've ever performed at um okay i'm not gonna lie i haven't done like big shows yet mm-hmm. um even though i'm a live performance artist mm-hmm. But uh, there was this one time I performed uh, Benali on this. Mm-hmm. We did a show with him a bit. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so nice. So you're beautiful, you. right? Mm-hmm. Have you ever found found yourself in a place whereby someone wants, like, you understand the industry, yeah, 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 how yeah. it is. Mutu ana unampeleka, maybe this is my song, and yeah, I need yeah. you to play it. Ushai patikana in a place whereby you need to compromise. Mutu anasema, Tit for tat, scratch me, mm-hmm. I scratch your back, right? Yes, who is the cause of so many things like that happen? How do you handle because it? Because it's a male dominated industry mm-hmm. and females are less mm-hmm. in music. Uh, first of all, go to a producer with money, mm-hmm. like, or whatever you're doing, deal with them with mm-hmm. money. Mm-hmm. When you show them money, they'll respect you. Now, Pia, Ukipatana Nam Semeni Haku respect, sometimes you even have to drop big projects. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I won't name them, but I've dropped several projects because Hatu Elewani Naye, Amal, Wanataka, something more that I couldn't give it to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have a management? No, imagine. You manage yourself. I manage myself. I shoot things myself. I meet people by myself. Yeah. <laughs> so all But this, one day, I'm going to get a manager. So all these DMs coming your way, you handle them, all this pressure. How do you handle them? Like maybe you, you, you receive a bad comment online. Ah, Nazilenga, Mimi. Eh. Eh, Nazilenga. You don't come respond. Come bad comments, I don't respond. If someone wants to meet me, come you know to me face to face if it's agreements on studio sessions we'll talk it's all about the vibe i deal with frequency vibes how do you raise your money to support your projects mm-hmm. yes that's a very good question um i do online writing mm-hmm. which is not always seasonal so sometimes i don't have a lot of cash mm-hmm. uh but many hustler too you know let me look at the camera i'm just a hustler <laughs> <laughs> hey now how online any online writers they're earning a lot of a lot of check out here because so many people out there on our part they are living good mm-hmm. now nah, most of most of it i think i need to drop my career <laughs> ni join online writing okay. all right so kuna mtu hapa ameuliza i am a female artist and uh, the i have tried to reach out to dj's to play my music like anyone ataka ni hali nao how will you advise me Um the first thing is these guys atakama kila kitu kona price it's either your body or your money mm-hmm. so 
put your money aside though in real sense artists are not supposed to pay DJs to rate your music mm-hmm. on like Kenyan music we're not supposed to it's not even supposed to be like that mm-hmm. but Kenyan Kenya so mine zambia any woman if whether it's rotation of music shooting of a music video audio recording try and reach a middle line with these guys mm-hmm. say i'll give you this amount of money for this month if you do this for mm-hmm. me and mm-hmm. that is it Nice one. Kuna mtu hapa ame ameuliza akasema eh hii swali na mbona inakaa hivi weird. <laughs> Kuna mtu hapa amesema there's a song unatoa na Prezo. <laughs> and as it looks like you and Prezo you have something. Prezo the artist. Same the only Prezo. My fans me now I've been out. Oh yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, Prez is a really nice person mm-hmm. for the short time span we spent to, um time together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we made a song mm-hmm. together. We were supposed to release the video, mm-hmm. but we're still figuring out the logistics. And yeah. Hakuna kitu kati yako na yako na Prezo? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. Guys. He comment up with Chini. Is she telling the truth? <laughs> you, you don't think you have anything no. but prezo tomorrow na juice ame post yeah. kama he's in love exactly you see okay. it's a month of love people are falling into love and i'll be the first one to make a song just for them ah hai kuumi hata uskiwe bhai ah si wezi si we do music together he's my business partner as well as both we're good musicians and i really respect him and who he is as prezo he's a very good <laughs> you guys me me na doubt you <laughs> Tell me what you think. <laughs> so, um, how long does it take you to write a music or, or a song? Imagine even five seconds, one minute, a whole day. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a freestyle artist, so that means it, I don't have to think about the lyrics as mm-hmm. long as I vibe with the instrumental. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like in most good projects, take time. You know, mm-hmm. like when you sit down and think about each and every lyric. Uh, but me as a young woman, one day, the next day, I can mix and master. Video. But you always have an idea of what mm-hmm. you want to step in the studio. I always have a chorus. Always have a chorus. You always have a chorus. So when you go to studio, kama uh, do you no when you go to studio, maybe what to beat up? You can also yeah. run with it. Yeah, that's why you make up the chorus. Like umsanya na fakuunda kitu hapo hapo. With or without even instrumentals, your brain should be always having vibes. Mm-hmm. Always have. Things to say. So always have things to say. <laughs> always be creative at all times. Yeah. So that's so nice. So, truth. What has been one of your best projects so far that you've done? Oh my goodness, Wako. Wako is a Kiswahili song, meaning mine or mm-hmm. yours. Yes. <laughs> But basically, Wako is my best song because I did it at Rainbow River Hotel and I had once did a music video there and then I didn't get the footage. So I really wanted to like go back and you know do it again mm-hmm. and just. Uh, I love for Wako is a sentimental song. Mm-hmm. I did that song when I was really in love. Um, you were in love with someone. Yeah. The, the same person you are in love with now. Or is it was a different person? It was a different person. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what about me and the girl character development? Was by a son. Like we can I draw. Shamba la mama. Alpo uko Nairobi. Ako tu hapa hapa. But why? Mimi nataka nga nini? Kuna mtu hapa bedha ameuliza akasema ukepewa makena njeri mm. and fenagit uh, fenagit who will you choose fena why ah uh, she's got that you know nice masculine vibe and you know like to poor so will you do will you can you join their community no all uh, respect to lgbtq uh, community i love you guys but i really like men you know um <laughs> That's why I chose Fena because Fena has that masculine vibe. Oh, okay. Fena is baby face, cuddly. But I can now. It's okay. So, who is your inspiration in music? Internationally, Rihanna. Rihanna, Rihanna juice ame pata mtu hii. Eh, naambia kama dem, usijivanie kichwa ngumu hapo. Lazima utatekwa. And, and then, uh, actually during her ini is it super bowl nini super bowl performance she reveals she's pregnant With again the baby number two. Uh-huh. Hey. and and locally locally hey no penna sana sauti so but the sauti so are doing good mm-hmm. like, the end of any song with iris i ra but that i listen to the song it's it has a vibe mm. but i'm disappointed in iris anyway. even me 
I was like, why would you sing the same thing the guy has sung? I was expecting her to come to the Which way she does. Know. But the song is good, guys. So, kuna mta papi ya aliuliza, kasema, um, what advice will you give to someone who wants to join music? Um, first, I can say, ask yourself, why do you want to do music? Mm-hmm. Because I've met a lot of people who are doing music for fame, others clout, others mm-hmm. to get money, um, you know, others to keep themselves busy. So, find what you really want to do in music. If, if it's your passion and it's what sets your heart on fire, go ahead and do go it. Ahead. Because you'll never get tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, music is a business. Mm-hmm. It's actually a full-time business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, do it with yeah, a purpose. Do it with a purpose. And make sure that you know why you want to do it. Okay, mm-hmm. alright. So, when when are we expecting your next project now? Na umefanya na nani ama umefanya peke yako? Uh, okay, I have a new track with Caterpillar. Caterpillar. That Caterpillar guy is doing is good. Amazing. Let me he's doing good. Caterpillar. Uh, he, he, he has a vibe. I like his vibe. Yeah, and he's so humble. Mm-hmm. I've worked with him several times. We have um a track we're working on. It's called Bila Wasiwasi. Mm-hmm. Uh actually we're doing it at Black Market Records mm-hmm. and also have another track with him at Substation Studios mm-hmm. in Tawala. So. Nice song. Caterpillar big ups. You can't wait for the hey, song. Big ups, Caterpillar. <laughs> guys, if you want to see Caterpillar on the show, comment up <laughs> Chini. The guy is doing good. So, Actually, people like relating him to OG yes, most of the time yes. because they kind of like have similar vibe. Yeah. Guys, comment kama unataka huyo msee on the show, tumuulize A B C D hizo scandals zenye siko huko nje you wanna know? Just comment down there. So, uh truth, uh what has been one of the biggest challenge you had in the industry? Mm. in your music career basically raising capital to shoot music videos audio ni rice no videos rice. and kumoto mm-hmm. uh, videos um and then also dealing with many different people mm-hmm. because people have different hours so sometimes you meet the wrong group of people they make you feel tired mm-hmm. you know yeah. will you like to be signed will you love to be signed I get that question a lot. Mm-hmm. Imagine there's no problem with being signed mm-hmm. actually. It's mm-hmm. good. It acts as a catalyst for this um artist to grow and mm-hmm. get better. Mm-hmm. But my problem is when you sign me, we need to sit down and I can show you this is what I'm doing. What are we going to do together now? Mm-hmm. Like it's, when you sign me, it should be something like pew. Kuna mtu hapa anauliza, "Hey English man, hiyo hiyo accent haikai ya kikuyu. Haikai ya kutoka hapa." So someone asked <laughs> Have you been living in Kenya? Am I do you try to copy someone? Um yes, a lot of people ask me that question about my English, mm-hmm. but it's because I was born in Kenya, raised in the States. Actually, all my siblings live abroad and um so yeah, that's where I basically got my English. But napenda sana Kenya and napenda sana Kiswahili. Kuna ita kuna interview man mali ni watch. Ukasema when you you coming back, ukona jua a cow is ngombe. Yes, I How did you say now when you came back, how did you find your way and assimilate yourself yes, now in the Kenyan um, culture? My parents had to find a Kiswahili tutor. Mm-hmm. I had to uh hang out with, you know, many people. So where can we find you? You have a YouTube channel, yes, right? Yes, yes. Truth to five four. Mm-hmm. Guys, Melo Prime family, you know what we do? Kindly go to subscribe, go to her YouTube channel, subscribe so that anytime she actually Wimbo, you're the first one to watch, right? Yes. So where else can we find you? You can find me on all social media handles except Twitter, which is Instagram, TikTok. But now I'm on Twitter. Yes, Twitter is everywhere. It's Twitter. the place where we get all the info. Twitter by our Kenya was say Twitter ni kubaya. Oh, Twitter. Kenya so Twitter on the back of our Very very harsh. So you know they are so. I watch a kanza wa pamane na ingine chani relax. Oh okay, so you are on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Truth Two Five Four, YouTube, Truth Two Five Four. Nice one. So guys, please go f- go and look for Truth254 if you're stopping here for the first time, if you're meeting her for the first time, you're so lucky to know more about her this time. Please go on her YouTube channel and subscribe, go on her Instagram and follow and support her music. And who knows, you'll be seeing her to a town next in a town on Samanga. You'll town? be seeing me in the town next Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for tuning in and we're going to have another chat, another episode. So, if you want to know more about her, just drop on the com- comment section. 
Kama unaona you can't you don't know your identity to be <laughs> seen kindly slide in our DMs Melopran Empire drop there the uh, your questions you want to know more about her and then we will have her again right so guys we have come to an, the, to the end of the show and just i want to say thank you to the production team nikinelo on the camera slima on the directing kutambia tonge even a hivi eh chama tunakuona pale nyuma guys and uh, anyone you want us to give a shout out to you know i just want to say thank you to all my fans for always believing in me and just keep on pushing that's the mantra mali safi kazi safi no awesome awesome guys until next time Adiós.